Okay, well let's try this again. I'm not going to talk much about it. I'll make a separate video about that. But uh, there's something going on with my Ubuntu Studio and it always seems like, I don't know. I don't want to say especially or that there's anything that's really wrong with certain this distro or that distro. But I've had problems on and off uh, with things sort of breaking down a little bit in certain distros and Ubuntu Studio has been one of those although it's been working pretty well I, what happened is the screen went off it came back on it came to the welcome screen again and when I booted back when I got back into it it was uh, you know the desktop was missing when I signed back in I mean not booted back in anyway that's another story this on the screen here if I move this out of the way is um, Manjaro Gnome and I thought it was interesting enough to uh, to show uh, you know a lot of people are doing Manjaro but I don't know how many people who um, do Manjaro would really um, you know who, who get Manjaro who install Manjaro would really put Gnome as a desktop I suppose there's some there might even be quite a good number but it just seems like most of them would use the XFCE desktop or, or maybe another one, but, but not generally GNOME. The reason I have GNOME on this is because uh, I had trouble uh, installing it. It's from a net install. And um, sometimes net installs can be tricky. And maybe I just didn't, uh, maybe there was a bit of software that I didn't get that I needed that I forgot but I could not get the XFCE or the LXDE desktop to work. But, you know, then when I did it a third time and chose GNOME, it works for the most part. It's kind of sluggish in, um, in virtual machine, but that might be more virtual machine than, than the operating system. And it has a lot of this is all came with it with the GNOME desktop. Uh, if you install the GNOME desktop in Manjaro, you'll get. Uh, I had to put the POMAC uh, sort of software uh, graphical interface. I had to put that in myself. And there might have been one or two other things I had to put in. But most of what you see is applications here. That's all stuff that uh, just comes with it. I am going to use it to uh, so I don't have to try to run Pipelight on my machine and further complicate things on my own machine. I was going to try out Pipelight within a virtual machine, maybe using this system, I think. And um, the reason for that is, is because there's still some sites out there that for whatever reason feel they have to use, and quite well-known ones, I'm not going to name them, that feel like they have to use Flash uh, on a computer. I don't know why they can do tablets perfectly fine without flash and use HTML5, but uh, whatever. So that's what I was going to use this for in the end result. And um, so it's just a, a look and some notes as I often do. I'm not really um, as hardcore as others, or, or, or maybe I am, but I'm not really as good as a, of a hardcore presenter on YouTube as some others. All right. That's pretty much all for now, uh, so thank, uh, thank you.